Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this, sun this Sunday the ascension of our Lord Jesus into heaven. We are commanded by our Lord Jesus Christ to preach the gospel to all nations by becoming witnesses, living witnesses of the gospel. And so as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord, for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the Apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established 
by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness, for the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. For King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of Him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things 
in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Go and teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you. But stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands, and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple praising God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome also to those who may have come from uh, many different places, from Metro Manila and even the nearby uh, provinces, to celebrate with us this morning this Eucharist on the solemnity of the Ascension of our Lord. Isa rin pong pagbati sa mga nakikiisa sa atin sa online broadcast ng misa na ito, ating mga kababayan sa ibang bansa na nanonood ng ating pagdiriwang ng banal na misa, and also people from other nationalities and other countries who continue to follow us in our celebration of the Mass here at the Mother Church of our country. This day, we celebrate the ascension of Jesus, ang pag-akyat ni Jesus sa langit. Apat na pung araw pagkatapos ng kanyang muling pagkabuhay, si Jesus ay umakyat sa langit. But my dear brothers and sisters, we do not just focus on the ascension of Jesus up to heaven, but we also focus on the mission given by Jesus when He ascended to the heavens. And that mission is to preach, 
to communicate the good news, the gospel of the Lord. Ang sabi ni Jesus nang siya ay umakyat sa langit, ipahayag ninyo ang mabuting balita sa lahat ng dako ng mundo. Yan ang iniwan niyang misyon sa atin. To preach the one faith, the one baptism, and the one Lord. Kaya nga ang kinanta natin sa pambungad na awit kanina, isang pananampalataya, isang pagbibinyag, isang Panginoon, yan ang ating pinapahayag sa lahat ng mga tao sapagkat yan ang misyon na iniwan ni Jesus sa atin. That is why every Ascension Sunday, we also celebrate World Social Communications Day because Jesus left us the mission to communicate the words given to us by our Lord. But my dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday, in His message for World Communications Day, Pope Francis would want us to focus on one important part of communication, and that is listening. Sabi ni Pope Francis, baka akala ninyo ang communication ay pagsasalita lang. Pero sabi ni Pope Francis, mahalagang parte, bahagi ng communication ay ang pakikinig. Listening is a very important part of communication. In fact, if we listen well, then we can also communicate well. Marunong pa ba tayong makinig? Baka sabihin niyo sa akin, Father, magaling kaming makinig. Alam ko nga ang latest chismis eh. <laughs> yan, no? Sabi ni Pope Francis, ay hindi pakikinig yan, no? Yan ay eavesdropping, no? Pakikiusyoso yan, no? Hindi yan pakikinig, no? Yung iba kasi sabihin, ah, magaling ako makinig, no? Kasi nakikiusyoso ako. That is not listening, sabi ni Pope Francis. Pope Francis would want us to emphasize not eavesdropping, ha? but listening. So let us first go to our gospel reading today. Jesus said to his disciples, It is written that the Christ would suffer, rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all the nations. And so he said, you are witnesses of all these things. Jesus put importance on the disciples becoming witnesses. You need first to see. You need first to listen so that you could become a witness and preach the good news. Sabi ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad, kinakailangan marinig niyo muna yung sinabi ko. Mabasa niyo muna ano ang isinulat. Makita niyo muna kung ano ang ginawa ko. Kapag kayo ay nakinig at tumingin mabuti, kayo ay magiging mabuting mga alagad, tagapagpahayag ng mga sinabi ko at mga ginawa ko. Kaya nga kinakailangan makinig mabuti, tumingin mabuti, nang sa gayon ay 
makapagpahayag din tayo ng mabuti. Kaya nga hindi yan chismis. No? Kasi ang chismis, narinig mo lang ng kaunti. Ay, narinig ko lang naman yan eh. Pinasa ko lang sa'yo. No? Nabasa ko lang. Pinasa ko lang sa'yo. Pero hindi ka nakinig mabuti, hindi mo tiningnan mabuti. So, listening is an important part of communication. But the question of Pope Francis is not just, do you listen? But the question of Pope Francis is also, how you listen? Ang tanong ni Pope Francis ay, hindi lamang nakikinig ba kayo? Ang tanong din ni Pope Francis, paano ba kayong nakikinig? Pope Francis said in his message this year, we need to engage in dialogue. But Pope Francis said, let us not mistake dialogue with duologue. Ano bang pagkakaiba ng dialogue at duologue? Dialogue is when you speak and listen to one another. He said duologue is just like two monologues. Nagsasalita kayo parehas, pero walang nakikinig sa inyo. Hindi yan dialogue. Dalawang monolog yan. Di ba, kapag nag-aaway siguro kayo, may nakikita akong mga mag-asawa dito, no? Kapag nag-aaway siguro kayo at nagdidiskusyon, magsasalita muna yung isa. At kapag tapos na yung isa, Anong isasagot ng isa? O tapos ka na? Ako naman. <laughs> Baka naririnig nyo yan na sinasabi nyo minsan. O, huwag nyo tingnan nyo asawa nyo, no? Baka mag-guilty yan, no? Pero minsan naririnig yan natin sa atin, no? Tapos ka na ba? Ako naman. Nagsalita nga kayo parehas, pero walang nakinig sa inyo sa isa't isa. How do we listen Maganda ko no na pagnilayan natin yan ngayong araw. How do we listen? How do we listen to each other? Because my dear brothers and sisters, how you listen to people is also how you will listen to God. Kung paano kang nakikinig sa kapwa mo, ganyan ka rin makikinig sa Diyos. Kaya pag nilayan natin ngayong araw, how do we listen to each other? Because we might be learning already not to listen to one another. Eventually, we will learn also how not to to listen to God. We see this in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles. We see Jesus talking to His disciples before He ascended into heaven. But when Jesus was already talking about His mission, the disciples interjected intercepted Jesus and told him, Lord, are you going at this time to restore the kingdom to Israel? And Jesus answered them, Wait, it is not for you to restore the kingdom. It is only for God. Nagsasalita pa si Jesus ng misyon sa kanila. Siningit agad nila yung sarili nilang kagustuhan. Panginoon, ang gusto namin ay hindi misyon, kundi kaharian, kapangyarihan. Sabi ni Jesus sa kanila, Teka, huwag niyong pangunahan ang Diyos. Makinig muna. Sa panahon ko ngayon, we are very fast and quick to speak 
but we are very slow to listen. Ang bilis nating magsalita, mag-comment, sumagot, pero ang bagal natin sa pakikinig. Halimbawa, tingnan na lang natin sa social media. Kapag ka may nakita kang isa, ah, share agad, share, like. Kapag may nakita kang hindi mo gusto, sasagutin mo agad, no? magagalit ka agad. Pero maya maya mapapahiya ka kasi fake news pala yung sinir mo. Nako, ang bilis natin magsalita, mabagal makinig. Kaya nga paulit-ulit sinasabi ngayon, Think before you click. Fact check first. Ang bilis natin ng pag-share at pagsasalita, mabagal ang pakikinig. My dear brothers and sisters, let us remember, let us learn how to listen. Listening is an important thing form of communication and if we learn how to listen we will also learn how to speak and communicate well our prayer for this sunday ascension sunday is the prayer of saint paul in our second reading today his prayer is this may our lord give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that the eyes of your hearts may be enlightened. The prayer of St. Paul is for our hearts to be able to see and listen to God. Ang panalangin po natin ngayong linggo na ito ay matuto tayong makinig. At hindi lamang makinig, kundi makinig ng mabuti sa kapwa. Matuto tayo ng maayos at mabuting pakikinig. Let us not just be good speakers, good reactors, good commenters, let us also become good listeners. Listeners to one another. Sana po, gumaling din tayong makinig sa isa't isa. Kung paanong magaling kang makinig sa motor mo at sa bisikleta mo. <laughs> Ngayon eh, konting kibot lang sa motor, naririnig mo yan. No? Minsan mayroon akong narinig na isa mayroon siyang motor. Naku, alagang-alaga niya yung motor niya. Sabi niya sa akin, Father, ipapacheck ko yung motor ko kasi umuubo yung motor ko. Sabi ko, umuubo pala motor. No? Ang alam ko, tao lang ang umuubo eh. Yun pala, naririnig niya, iba ang tunog ng motor. No? Ganyan kamahal ng asawa mo ang motor niya. No? Pati ubo ng motor, alam niya. No? Baka ubo ng asawa mo, ubo na ng ubo ang asawa mo, hindi mo pa pinapagamot. <laughs> Baka ang motor mo, ubo ng ubo, konting ubo lang, pinapagamot mo na at ginagastusan mo na. Baka ang galing natin makinig sa motor, <laughs> pero hindi tayo magaling makinig sa isa't isa. Ako nga ay may alaga akong pusa sa kumbento ko. Alam ko ang tunog ng pusa ko kapag may sakit siya. Baka ang galing-galing natin makinig sa motor, sa bisikleta, sa aso, sa pusa. Baka hindi tayo marunong makinig sa isa't isa. Baka kapag may nagrarali sa labas ng mga magsasaka, sasabihin agad natin, itong mga magsasaka na ito, puro rally ang alam. Manahimik na lang kayo. Magtrabaho na lang kayo. Baka nakikinig ka sa motor mo, pero yung magsasaka, hindi mo naririnig ang kanyang pangangailangan. Ang galing-galing nating makinig minsan sa social media, pero sa kapwa-tao, 
lalo na sa mahihirap, hindi tayo nakikinig. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray this Ascension Sunday that Jesus may enlighten the eyes of our hearts, the ears of our hearts, so that we could become good listeners, listening well to our brothers and sisters, listening well to God. Amen. Please all stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. When our risen Savior ascended into heaven, angels reminded His disciples that He would come back again. Until He comes, we continue His work by praying for all peoples and listening to their needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth will ever keep its evangelical mission of making disciples of all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the world may realize that they must give an account of their works to Jesus Christ when He returns as our judge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That no one will be so attached to this earth as to regret being called to eternal life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may all come to the maturity of faith in the fullness of the recent Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our dead may ascend to glory with Christ, our priest and king. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Father in heaven, your Son is now seated at your right hand and throne in eternal glory. We make our petitions through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Okay. 
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, Judge of the world and Lord of hosts, He ascended not to distance Himself from our lowly state, but that we His members might be confident of following where He, our Head and Founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos samang makapangyarihan, kasama ng Espiritu Santo, magpasawala ang hanggan. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel for our novena to the Holy Spirit. In our third day of novena, we ask for the grace of the Holy Spirit for the gift of fortitude. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Fortitude is steadfastness in doing what is right and good in the face of obstacles and trials. The gift of fortitude overcomes unreasonable fears on the one hand and keeps us from being reckless on the other. It is the special virtue of those who are pioneers in any endeavor. Fortitude makes it possible for us to undertake difficult tasks, to face risks and dangers, and to endure whatever comes without undue anxiety, discouragement, or complaint. Without fortitude, we cannot hope to persevere in our Christian calling, nor can we fulfill the mission that is ours by baptism and confirmation to bear witness to the gospel for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit renew in us the gift of fortitude amidst all the challenges presented by today's society and culture. Let us all together pray. Almighty Father, be gracious and bless us with the gift of the Holy Spirit, so that we may persevere with fortitude in doing what we know to be right and good. Strengthen us in our weakness, so that when we are weary, discouraged, or are put to the test, we may overcome every obstacle and be refreshed on the path to holiness and virtue. May no trial or difficulty keep us from bearing witness to the splendor of truth which radiates from the face of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray, now and forever. Amen. Let us now all stand for the final blessing. Before I give the blessing, I would like to thank all of you for joining us in this celebration, lalo na po sa mga dumayo pa galing sa ibang lugar. Maraming salamat po at masaya po kaming nakikita kayong kaisa namin at kasama namin sa pagdiriwang na ito. Special thanks also to those who are following us through our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Continue to share the good news of others through our social media pages, especially as we celebrate today World Social Communications Day. We also thank the Ministry of the Archdiocese of Manila for our sign language interpretation for this Mass. This day, may we all learn how to listen with our hearts so that we may also communicate the gospel to one another. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day, His only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where He is now and forever. Amen. May He grant that as Christ, after His resurrection, 
was seen plainly by his disciples. So when he comes as judge, he may show himself merciful to you for all eternity, forever and ever. Amen. And may you who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.